Friends, it's time for us to come back to God so that our nation can live in peace and harmony. How is the knife crime going to be solved? It's only Jesus. It's only Jesus. We can't look to our politicians. We've got to look to Jesus, friends. Let's make it safe on our streets. Let's make it safe on our streets and in our homes by turning to Jesus, by having a humble heart. It's time, friends. Come on, this is a good way to avoid getting stabbed these days, isn't it? A good way to avoid getting stabbed. Turn to Jesus and all of the criminals, friends, all of the murderers, all of the murderers, they can turn to Jesus and they won't want to murder anymore. They won't want to stab anymore because they'll have the love of God in their hearts. Come on, friends, let's turn to Jesus. Before it gets too bad across our nation, there's a great murderous spirit that's been unleashed across our nation because we've turned away from God. We've turned away from the living God, friends. I'm sad to say there's going to be more. We're going to hear more stories of people being stabbed because they refuse to turn to the living God that they would be saved. Come on, friends, there's going to be great trouble befalling our nation. Are we going to let our nation turn to a foreign God? Are we going to let our nation turn to a foreign God? Come on, friends, it's time for us to listen to the Bible. It's time for us to listen to the word of God, Jesus, the Son of God, who came into this world. Are we just going to wait? Are we just going to wait until our nation falls? Are we going to wait until our nation falls? I received a message. I received a message the other day, and it said, God willing, Sharia law in Birmingham by 2040. By 2040, Sharia law. Is that what we want? Is that what we want? We want Sharia law, do we, in Birmingham? Is that what we want? Is that what we want? Sharia law? Is that what we want? Is that what everybody wants? Control? I wouldn't be able to preach the gospel anymore if Sharia law came to Birmingham by 2040. That's what this man said to me on YouTube. He sent me a message. He sent me a message. He said, your daughter's in 2024 wearing jeans. Your daughter's wearing jeans. In 2040, wearing the hijab. Is that what we want? Okay, then so be it. If we don't care about our great nation, friends, if we don't care about the foundation upon which our nation is founded, Christianity, we're going to lose all of our freedoms. All of our freedoms are going to be gone. It's going to be over. And we've only got ourselves to thank for it. We can blame God until the cows come home. But at the end of the day, friends, it's going to be our own fault. It's going to be our own fault. Are we going to listen to the Quran? Or are we going to listen to the voice of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who came into the world, the Son of God, to give us life? To give us life is the only hope for our nation. Jesus is the only hope for our nation. Not a foreign God. Not a foreign God. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. How dare they say he was not the Son of God. He was the Son of God. How dare they say he didn't die. How dare they say he didn't die for our sins. He died for our sins to give us life. To give us life. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. And Jesus is the life. He's the only way to the Father. And we're going to find out, friends, one way or the other. We're going to find out one way or the other when we're dead. When we're dead and we're buried and our spirit stands before God, we're going to find out that Jesus was the Son of God. We're going to find out that Jesus was the Son of God. The burning fire that is in his eyes is going to burn us away, friends. And Jesus is going to say, away from me. I don't want that to happen, friends. We don't want that to happen. God is loving. God is merciful. God is true. But he cannot abide with sin an evil religion that is false, that says the Bible is corrupted. How dare they? How dare they? How dare they say the Bible is corrupt? How dare they say Jesus wasn't the Son of God? How dare they? This is a Christian nation. This is a Christian nation founded upon Christian principles. Yes, okay, our leaders have turned their backs on God. Yes, the Church of England has turned its back on God. But friends, there are still some who say, I'm going to follow Jesus. I'm going to follow the Bible. I'm going to follow the Bible. I'm going to follow Jesus, the Son of God. He's here for us today in the city of Birmingham. If we could just open our skulls and listen for five seconds, 
rather than just totally ignore it and think this is a load of rubbish or I don't want to know or I've got my own religion. One day we're going to stand in before Jesus and it might be sooner than we think. It might be sooner than we think. Friends, are you ready to meet your maker? Are you ready to meet your maker? Friends, Jesus is calling out to us. And he says, are you ready? Friends, you're not ready. We're not ready if we don't turn to Jesus. If we have the audacity to say that Jesus was just a mere prophet, we're not ready. Because a prophet can't save anything. He can't save a gnat. can't save a fly. A prophet, what good is that? He can't save us. Jesus was just a prophet. Come on. Jesus was the son of God. And he came into the world. He had to be the son of God because he had to pay for the disgusting sin. Do we understand how disgusting sin is? No, we don't. We think we can be good. We think we can pray X amount of times a day. God's going to be really happy about that. We think we can wear a special thing on our head and cover our faces and God's going to say, wow, that's good. No, friends, God is not interested in what we wear. He's interested in our heart. Is your heart pure before God? Is your heart pure before God? Or does it have evil in your heart? Do you have racism in your heart? Do you have, do you have evil towards Christians who preach the gospel? Is it in your heart to think, what an evil person? What hatred? Do you hate Christians, friends? Well, Jesus said that they would hate him and they would hate us. So if you hate Christians, if you hate the voice of this message, if you hate this message, friends, it shows that we are not with God. We are not with God. We are not with God. We are with the devil. If you hate this message, I'm sorry, but that is the Bible. That is the Bible. It's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to wake up. Jesus is here to give us life today. It's time for us to turn back to God. The Church of England has said, I don't care about God. You know, the Archbishop of Canterbury he doesn't care about God. He says if a little boy wants to, to go in a dress to school, then let him go. He doesn't care about God, the Archbishop of Canterbury. He doesn't care. The Church of England doesn't care. That they're okay, the bishops are okay with marrying whoever. Next they're going to be saying it's okay to marry a horse. Bestiality would be approved next, I'm sure. But friends, I tell you what, there are some sensible people in this world. I believe it or not, Richard Dawkins, Richard Dawkins, the famous atheist, is now an ally of Christianity. Can you believe it? He's now an ally of Christianity. Do you know why? Because he sees, he sees that secularism, secularism which he has promoted in his book, and for many years he has promoted it, friends, he has seen that it is created, it has created a vacuum. It has created a vacuum and now a false religion is filling it. And he says, I don't want that. Funny that, isn't it? I don't want that. I'd rather sing carols. I'd rather sing about peace and love and Jesus dying on the cross. I don't want anything else. I don't want a religion of war. I want something that is peaceful. I want something that is peaceful. Friends, it's time for us to turn back to God. It's time for our nation to turn back to God before it's too late. Let's not be so arrogant. Pride comes before a fall. Our pride stops us from knowing God. We say, well, I know everything. I know my religion. I was born in this religion. I know it. It doesn't matter what we know. It doesn't matter what we know. Do we know God? Do we know God? You might know your religion. You might think, well, I'm going to heaven. Friends, are you going to heaven? Do you know? Do you know where you're going after this life? Your soul is so precious. I pray that you do. You know where you're going now, don't you? Hopefully. You know where you're going now. Maybe you're going home. Maybe you've had a busy day. Maybe you're off school. Maybe you're on your holidays from school and you're just hanging around. But friends, you know where you're going after this, don't you? You've got some ideas. But friends, do we know the most important journey? Do you know where you're going after this life? When you close your eyes forever? Because you don't know, do you? You could walk around the corner and you could get stabbed. You could get stabbed now. We don't know, do we? Getting stabbed in Birmingham. They're getting stabbed everywhere, aren't they? People are getting stabbed. We don't know. I could walk around the corner today. I was in Wolverhampton the other week and a lot of Muslims ran onto the platform in Wolverhampton with machetes. Can you believe it? Everyone was stunned. Everyone was stunned. They ran onto the platform in Wolverhampton. I was standing there, about five Muslims with weapons, with knives. Friends, we are living in a, in a big problem here. There's a big problem going down. It's time for us to wake up, friends. It's time for us to wake up before we get stabbed to death. Want to be stabbed to death? 
Rams, come on, it's time for us to wake up. Jesus is here for us. It's time for us to call out to Jesus. Now who's going to call out to Jesus? Jesus is going to call out to us. God loves us with an everlasting love, and he cares for us. God loves us with an everlasting love, and he cares for us. It's time for us to wake up, friends. The only answer to the knife crime in our nation is Jesus Christ, who took, who took nails for us. He took a spear, friends. Jesus took a knife on our behalf. He's the only answer. Jesus is the only answer for the knife crime. Jesus is the only answer for the knife crime. It's not Keir Starmer, it's not our politicians, friends, it's not number 10. Whoever is in there can't stop this rot. They can't stop this evil because it's sin we're talking about. And politicians can't stop sin. Are we going to turn to Jesus? Are we going to turn to Jesus? He's the only answer for Birmingham. He's the only answer for Birmingham, friends. He is the only answer. Jesus is the only answer for Birmingham. Who are we going to turn to? Are we going to turn to ourselves? Are we going to turn to ourselves and say, well, this is all about me. Life is all about me. I identify as this. You're clearly a man, but you identify as a woman. Come on, friends. Is life all about you? No, friends, it isn't. It's all about God. It's all about God. Come on, friends. Today, today people say that men can get pregnant. And if you don't agree with that, then you're a bigot. Can you believe it? We're supposed to live in a free and democratic society. But have you noticed that free speech is over? Free speech is over. I know I'm managing. I'm managing here to, to talk about these things. But not for long, friends. And I'm very careful, you know. When the police walk down, I just talk about the love of God because I could get arrested now. I could get arrested now. Have you seen people getting arrested online for posting memes? They're posting memes about how the nation is going to be in a few years' time. And they get arrested. They get put into prison for posting memes. They might have hurt somebody's feelings, you see. Oh, friends, this is, a, this is embarrassing, isn't it? People going to prison for hurting people's feelings. We can't say anything today, friends. It's free speech is a cornerstone of democracy, but it's being pulled from under our feet. And nobody cares. Let's go home and watch a movie. Let's go home and watch Netflix. Let's crack open the bottle of beer. Come on, let's have a popcorn. Let's have pop. Let's not care about anything. Let's just put up our feet while the nation burns to the ground. While the nation burns to the ground. Let's go party. Let's have sex with whatever and whoever we want. Let's dress with in whatever we want to do. Let's do whatever we want, friends, because it doesn't matter, does it? The nation is burning to the ground, and we think we can just do whatever we like. Friends, do we care about our nation? Do we care about the nation? Then let's get up and stand on our own two feet and do something about it. Let's do something about it. How are we going to do something about it? Jesus Christ, we've got to stand up, friends. Before we stand up, we've got to drop to our knees. We've got to drop to our knees and repent. Repent, friends. For the kingdom of heaven is near. The kingdom of heaven is near. It's time to wake up, friends. Let's wake up today. Birmingham, wake up. Birmingham, wake up. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up and turn to Jesus. He is the only answer for this life. Let's